Welcome to Webster Crafts Workshop. Today we're going to demonstrate the Sulky of America transfer pens. Um, in your pack, you'll get a pack um, like this one um, from Webster Craft with um, eight of the pens. Um, the black mainly is used for the outlines and the colours of course are you're used to fill in. You'll also get an instruction sheet like this one and some free patterns. Um, patterns consist of flowers and animals and with the uh, instructions you, there's also um, a pattern that you can use as the practice to, to practice your designs. Now if you have a light box that's ideal but no worries if you don't have a light box for tracing you can go ahead and just use ordinary tracing paper and there you can see the pattern through the tracing paper quite easily but I've got a light box and I do prefer to use it because it's um, ideal for most other crafts as well as with the making transfers so I'm going to go ahead and switch that on and I'm going to use just ordinary um, this is just ordinary photocopy paper I'm going to set that down there on the light box. Um, if I bring that closer, you can probably see it. There you can see the uh, design through. I'll set that on the light box and I'm going to take the black because the black is mainly used for the outlines. Now, these, these sulky transfer pens are a pump action pen, meaning when you first get these, to actually start the ink flow, you need to press firmly onto a piece of paper which I've already done this so we've got an ink flow um, and then what you do is just go ahead now I would not if it's the biggest design I would take this into place but I'm just gonna hold it there um, because I'm, I'm not actually going to do all of the design um, to save time um, I can show you one that I, I made earlier so we'll go ahead and start with the um, just going around the outlines it's like Charles play just like coloring in really but you need to do the outline in order to define the, um, the flowers. Now, really the best um, fabric to use, I found, is polycotton fabric. Because the mix of the polycotton, it really, really helps to bring out the colours. I mean, you can use t-shirts, fabrics, and, but the colours just aren't as bright for me using the... Uh, the ordinary um, cotton t-shirts. I do prefer um, polycotton. Um, also you need to use a light fabric, a light coloured fabric, so white, cream, pale colours are fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fill in. Now again, when you first get them you need to press the nib to start the ink flow. And um, also what you can do is go ahead and use a, a paintbrush. So if you didn't want to use the pens as they are, um, you can go ahead and paint with them. I'll just show you on a piece of plastic that you can pump the ink and so you've got blobs of transfer ink there. Can you see on, on the polythene? So what we can do is take your brush and you, you can use this to paint with, you can see. And I find that is really easy. But for demonstration purposes, we'll carry on using the pens, but you, you, you can see there that uh, you can also use the uh, paintbrush. I'm sorry, I'm not being too careful there. So, go back to the uh, using the nib of the pen. So we'll line that back up. As I say, normally I should really take this down, but during this demonstration, I'll just hold it in place. So there we go, go ahead and fill in the, the flower. Now, I'm not going to spend time doing all this because as I say, um, there is one that um, I made earlier, and there you go, that's uh, what we want to achieve, um, a nice bold pattern. Um, so what we do then is, we, um, I'll use, actually use this to show you what it looks like when it's ironed on. So we'll just put the um, light box to one side. Now this is a great idea. Um, because it's useful um, to use on a table. This this is my um, 
my ironing board, but table ironing board. Actually, you can make these yourself. It's just a piece of cardboard. There you go, you can see it's a piece of cardboard and an old ironing board cover. Just cover the uh, cardboard and you've got a really great surface for doing crafts on, especially um, for, for ironing on transfers. Um, so I've got uh, the sleeve of a cotton shirt here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how you transfer a design on. This is the one I've just made. You can just see the colour coming through the other side. And just take the, the iron. Now your iron must not be on steam. Your iron needs to be on um, a cotton to linen setting, and obviously steam would, um, would would ruin the transfer. So certainly no steam. And then what you need to do is just press down there on your using your ironing board or your work board. And if this was a larger design, you'd pin this down just to hold it in place. But such a tiny design, and just hold it there for a few seconds careful that your iron isn't too hot because it will burn the fabric and then what we could do is just lift up the side just to test that that's pressed on so I'm just going to bring that a little closer so you can see that that is uh, pressed onto the fabric and now I'll show you the transfers well these aren't transfers these are patterns that you get when you buy the pack of eight um, you get um, several easy designs um, in your in your pack, these these are these are free. These are just practice um, designs um, you get with your um, sulky transfer pens. You've got, uh, as you can see, you get um, eight pens there. Um, now, what I want to show you is um, how to use if you you don't have a light box, um, just the tracing paper. Now you'll find you do get a more prominent, colourful design with the uh, tracing paper. So, um, I, this, this is just a, a little um, butterfly, I've just draw, drawn this. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and trace around that, firstly with the black. So this is using the tracing paper, so you can see you don't need the light box because you can see the design through quite easily. So I'm just going to quickly draw that. Now, a good idea is to mark this, because on tracing paper you can't tell if it's the front or the back, so I'm just going to put an F on this side, that's to tell me which side that I need, this is the transfer side, front, and that stands for, I know it sounds uh, a bit silly that, but no, you, you understand when you see it on the other side, because they both look the, uh, the same, so we can add little bits of um, colour to that. So I'm just going to put some um, spots. Um, if, remember you need to press the lid to start the ink flow. So I'm just going to put some nice bold spots on there. You, could do, you do your designs fairly quickly. And just perhaps um, pick another colour. Just a little bit of green shading. Start the ink flow. You could just play around with the pens and there you go. Right now I'll show you what I mean. It's very difficult to tell which is the front and which is the back because you need to get uh, this right because um, you know that you've been working on the front. So that is the part that needs to go onto the fabric. So we'll take the shirt once again and put that down onto our board, table board. And then take the design and again using your iron on a cotton to linen setting, it really depends on the uh, on the fabric that you're using and just lift that up to test it and there you've got your butterfly you can go ahead and do others but you'll find as as you keep doing them they do fade as the ink gets used but 
there you go, I'll bring that closer so you can, the camera can see it there. Got your gorgeous butterflies on your shirt. Now you could embroider these. You could do, you could do punch embroidery. Or you could um, just um, use them as they are, because they are washable. Um, obviously I've done these so quickly and you're going to take your time when you do them. So we'll move on to the, uh, the next demonstration. Um, now lettering needs to be done in reverse. So um, I printed this out on the computer and to make um, a transfer in reverse the easiest way is just to print, you can reverse it on your printer, a photocopy that is, or you can do what I've done and use that as your template. And then what you do is put it on your light box, again if you've got one, if not use the tracing paper. And I've already actually gone over the words but I'll show you in a moment how to do it, but using your um, the black or a dark one like purple or dark blue uh, would work really well for lettering. So you just, obviously this is the reverse side and I say it's already been done so there you go, there's the front, there's your, the photocopy. So you're making your transfer, again, has to be in reverse. So go over the letters, I'll show you that now. And what I've done, I've added um, just a butterfly to that under the light box and then just added that on and that once it is uh, transferred, will um, will transfer onto the fabric. Um, right, good thing about using the silky iron-on transfer pens um, is that you could do things for. Um, I have done things for the Webster Craft, um, but you could also do it for. Um, you know, if you want your staff with um, shirts, um, with the shirts and the company uh, name. And there's a, a famous shop in London, which uh, when I'm in London, I, I, I like to browse because they make um, the most beautiful um, cowboy boots. And some are, you know, really bespoke. And I don't wear them so much anymore, but I do like to look because it, rem it reminds me of being back in, um, in the States. So can you see that I'm just quickly going over the letters with the, uh, the black, silky black pen. Now I could go ahead and do the, um, could go ahead and do the uh, www dot. But to save time. Oh, there you go, it's nearly done. Oh, we've done it. So we now have a transfer, so the lettering which was in reverse will take away and we've already got this in reverse now so what we're going to do, I mean we could go ahead and colour the boot in but I love the boot as it, as it is, absolutely as it is, I love it. So, and this was actually just a, a print off the internet um, which was, uh, I just printed off and then I'll show you the print off the internet, there you go, that's the print off the internet, took out the detail it didn't need so much detail in. Um, so next step is to take the shirt on the reverse side of the shirt and I'm going to put our transfer onto the shirt and see it's in place. I say sometimes it's easier if you use pins to uh, hold it in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that. I'm going to hold it firmly as firmly as possible. Try not move it around too much. Now this would be absolutely wonderful if it was embroidered. And when I'm next in London I'll, I'll nip in and show them this, uh, this design in Chelsea where they are, where they're based. There you go, I think that's all set now. I'll bring that up so you can see it. And that's the uh, and that's the finished one on the uh, back of the shirt. But I mean, if you were to embroider that or go over it with punch embroidery, that would be perfect. Well, thanks for watching. Till next time. <laughs>